Hi, I'm Jeff Gamet for the Mac Observer, and today I'm going to show you how to use AirDrop with your iPhone or iPad. It's a really cool way to move files around from device to device, and it's pretty easy to do. Also, it's really cool, so let me show you how this works. First, we need to make sure that AirDrop is turned on, so swipe up from the bottom of your screen, then tap AirDrop. I chose contacts only so that people I don't know can't share photos with me. Once you've done that, tap somewhere on the screen to close the dialog, and then tap on photos, and then pick the photo that you want to share. Now tap the share button in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. You'll see all the computers or iPads or iPhones that have AirDrop enabled. I'm going to tap on my iPad and share the photo there. You can watch the progress as the photo goes over to my iPad and then see when it's successfully sent. And that's it. That's all there is to sharing a photo through AirDrop. Now, what makes AirDrop so cool is that it makes it easy to move files from to device to device, but it doesn't require that you already have a network set up and running and that your devices be on the same network. What it does is it creates its own Wi-Fi network between devices to share those files. So that means you could be, say, on a trip somewhere and you need to share photographs with someone else that, that you're traveling with and there's no Wi-Fi around, not a problem. Just share through AirDrop to each other, you're going to get the full-size files and it's going to be substantially faster than sharing files through a regular Wi-Fi network or by texting them to each other. I'm Jeff Gamet for the Mac Observer. Thanks for watching.